Hey everybody and welcome to my tiny house. This week it's time to tackle a bigger piece of furniture. I have an idea for kind of a corner bench. That's also storage, that's also a bunch of other things, but let me show you the area. With one glimpse, you can see what's all wrong with this. This is too high, but I do need a coat hanger. This doesn't have a place, that's my work clothes. They don't have to be hung, it doesn't have to be nice, but I want them to be out of sight and, and tucked away. This is kind of nice, but I kind of also want to sit there. So the plants have my prime position. And one more thing, where do my shoes go? And have I mentioned that I need a place for my vacuum also? So those are all things and problems that I want to solve with one corner bench right here. It's so tricky to draw. I tried to do it in the live stream. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm not good at drawing in perspective. Hold on, okay. So this is roughly the space that we have. This is not a how to draw video. I'm just trying to figure this out. Do you know like these impossible stairs? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with dimensions because I think it would be great there would be space for shoes underneath this, but it doesn't seem like this would fit because we have the light switch. We can't go higher or remove it a little bit, but wouldn't it look better like this? But this is too low. Let's get some boxes and see how the height needs to be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Before we go around the corner, huh? I, I need to... You haven't seen it yet, I think. I need to tell you something, please don't judge me. But I think my aluminum box addiction uh, reached a new level. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's wrong. I know I shouldn't, but I couldn't resist. It was such a good offer, don't judge me. It's not wrong. <laughs> How could this be wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be future, future storage. I'm trying to think of a system all the materials that I'm collecting and all these cool things that find their way to me. It is so hard to have a unifying system for all these different things. So I think this might be the solution. Or is this too deep? No. Nah. And then if you want to sit here, oh, <gasps> yes. Warm. Mm -hmm. This is great. This is Mudo's spot. By the way, I built this three years, three years ago, I think. Still love it. It's just too high. I wish I could use it for this space, but it's just too high. Up in Ofen damit. Firewood. Oh my God. Does it fit exactly? Nine! Nine! Geilo! Okay, considering it needs uprights, what is happening? The height is perfect, it's underneath the window. The depth is perfect. Uh. Was? Was? Nein! I'm done here. <laughs> My work is done. So this is um, me having a vision. And this is me having aluminum boxes. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit too short. Okay. And I also don't want to sit here. I want to sit here and have my friend there. And we can, I don't know, our feet can touch. <laughs> Maybe this is more like a seating spot. And then if this has a cover, this can come mm -hmm. out. I think this is too much aluminum boxes, visually. How do I feel about this? Is this too high? It has to be, because if we turned it... Nah. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is actually the proportion we have to go with. It's the right height, height. it's the right width. This is great. I still don't have a shoe solution because I don't think they will fit in here. Or we have this tower here. Mm -hmm. So it's more in the corner. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, okay. What I like about this is that I think you can put bigger stuff on top. This is it. I think this is so much better. It's not blocking the room. It's not blocking the stove. I can lean on it. It doesn't block the door. This is the better way to do it. And this is why I don't sketch. Because that just manifests stuff in your head that doesn't feel right for the room. Since this was a closed room, I was convinced this is where I need the high spot. I am a little bit unhappy about this. I kind of want this to be a little bit higher. Oh yeah. So as much as I'm sneaking up on the design for this complex build, I'm also sneaking up on the construction. So I start with what I know, and in this case, that's the height of the boxes. Let's start with that. I thought we would need dividers between the boxes, but I kind of like this all free because it also looks good. I think it will look good without the boxes. It will look good with the boxes. Maybe we add a wooden drawer. It, we can be flexible with the space. And this is, this will not bend. This is strong enough. almost too perfect. No, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get this far. I am very happy. I want to do two more things and then almost call it a day to see how this feels. I want to close this up and I want to cut the top, the top sheets for the bench. And then I just want to use it for a day or two and then see what it needs. All right. Okay. Let's go.
。おお。おお。<笑><笑> okay. This is great. This feels especially imagine summertime. This is open. You can sit outside, drink a coffee. Somebody else can sit here. I did not see this coming. This is a new function that I did not even plan for. I am so happy with the proportions. I think it was the perfect call to put the higher thing there. Now I want to just test this for a day or two, and then I'll decide what colors, what surfaces, what other materials I want. How this opens, but for now I wanna, I, I just wanna sleep on it. Not actually, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy with this. What do you think? It's amazing. Yeah, so good. Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Did you say it's perfect? I said it's perfect. Go home. Catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong. Ding dong! Okay, I spent a full day with this setup. Got a pillow. This is so comfortable. And I also think somebody else likes this spot. I don't know who, <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, now there's a problem that I'm very excited about and this is this part. I want this to be openable from the top so that vacuum and all the cleaning stuff can just be hidden. Um, now, you know how hinges are always so much more complicated than you think? Mm -hmm. I think I have such a good solution for a hinge that is essentially invisible. Because I want this to look as minimal as possible. Okay. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Oh yes, sure. Maybe I shouldn't blow this out of proportion, but I'm... Okay. <laughs> a couple things you need to know before I can show you how this works. Since the dog likes to sit here, I want to cover this. This one probably in the pistachio linoleum. And this also in something that's wipeable, but different to the linoleum, linoleum, Jesus Christ, because I think we need a contrast here. Even though this would not be my first choice, I would not buy this, but I have this big piece of leather mm -hmm. that might fit this size perfectly. And I think the leather would be a great contrast to the pistachio. Mm -hmm. And I think the large wood that we keep on using fits great to the leather. Nice. Now imagine, this is all covered in leather and the leather is the hinge. Perfect. Yes, that's... Uh, uh, you are not amazed enough. No, sorry, yeah. <laughs> now imagine, this is all covered in leather and the leather is the hinge. Yes! Huh? That's nice. <laughs> I'm such a bad actor. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, yes. I played with this immediately. Okay. But I think once the glue is dry, like here, it's solid. It's safe. So this will only be here up to mm -hmm. this point. So I have something to lift it up, but still no big gap here. Okay. And this ledge also prevents the leather from peeling, peeling off if you, you know, scooch over. I think this is an ideal situation. The only question is, do I have enough leather? Nein, laber nicht! Hä? Das passt genau! Alter! Dann muss das so sein.
or we leave it like this. <laughs> Quick and dirty hinge. Okay, now this needs to dry till it's actually dry to the touch. And in the meantime, we can maybe do the pistachio as yes. well. <laughs> Try to pretend to walk downstairs. <laughs> We were so lucky the whole time. It is what it is. I think what I want to do is to ensure that it doesn't stick in the wrong position and then it's uh. off. <laughs> so sticky. stuff is so easy to work with. It is absolutely <laughs> foolproof. Mega schön. Sieht so gut aus, ne? Oh. 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 <lacht> okay. Easy fix. No. Okay, so this will be the front edge. This is a leftover from the outside of the tiny house, the large wood. Uh, yeah. And I think I'll cut maybe like four centimeters. This is a function I discovered late in the domino game, but it has a setting for precise cutting and for cutting with a little bit of wiggle. And the way you do it, you cut one precise, also the hole on the other side is precise, and then the others have a little bit of slack. And that way, putting it together is so much easier 
as if you had all of them precise because even the angle it's so precise that even the angle of putting it together makes it difficult so this makes the glue up so much easier I'm so excited <laughs> that should be enough. <laughs> blown away by how this all came together and I have to say the leather hinge might be my favorite thing I've built in a while this is so good this is so good the leather hinge the mix of materials and of course the aluminum boxes those three things are all things that I did not foresee in this sketch especially that this is what's supposed to be the coat hanger, and it will be. This was on that side, it was all different. So when I say this is why I don't sketch, I mean this is why I don't get hung up on my sketches. I like to sketch to capture a rough idea and to sort it out in my head, but then I like to figure it out in 3D and pick the materials, feel what it needs, let it time to develop, and then just go with the flow. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying this leather hinge and I will see you next week with a new video.